Hello. In this video, I'm going to talk about the malonic ester synthesis. The malonic ester synthesis is a synthetic sequence taking advantage of the nucleophilic behavior of enolate anions and, and some other key reactions to specifically transform an ester of malonic acid like the one I have drawn here, diethylmalonate, into some kind of substituted carboxylic acid. So this process looks like one, uh, sodium ethoxide, uh, two, some sort of alkyl haline, and then three, acid, and four, heat. And depending on how you set up this, this situation, the acid and heat steps could be uh, consolidated. And the outcome of this reaction after all is said and done is a carboxylic acid with the R group of that alkyl halide attached at the alpha position to acetic acid. Okay. So how does this, this work? First, we have diethylmalonate, uh, and like all such carbon uh, compounds, it's acidic at its alpha position, and it's most acidic in between the two carbonyl groups. And so, you know, the pKa of diethylmalonate, apparently, here we go, pKa is equal to 12.9. So, still uh, a little bit less acidic than some other compounds like this, but it's going to get deprotonated by an appropriate strong base. And we're going to use sodium ethoxide. We want the structure of the base to match the structure of the alkoxy group in the ester, so we don't get any hydrolysis or scrambling. And we're going to get proton transfer to form the enolate anion of diethylmalonate. Uh, and then, and I'm actually going to specify that my Rx alkyl halide probably needs to be a primary alkyl halide because this step is an SN2 step at the alkyl halide. So we are alkylating this enolate. Uh, if you've watched my any of my videos and my series of reactions of you know, carbonyl compounds at their, you know, alpha positions, you know that enolate anions can be alkylated by the appropriate alkyl halides, and this is just one such example. Uh, step three is ester hydrolysis. Um, I'm not going to fully draw, I'm not going to draw out the mechanism for ester hydrolysis. I have a whole video uh, on hydrolysis of carboxylic acids in acid and uh, what that mechanism looks like. You know, most people come to uh, this point in their studies having already talked about the hydrolysis reactions of esters. Oh, so both uh, esters are hydrolyzed. Now we have this diacid. And it turns out that there's a particularly interesting reaction of diacids. And this is what the final step takes advantage of. Uh, and it's yeah, diacids. And actually, any sort of carboxylic acid has a carbonyl compound beta to it can undergo decarboxylation when heated. 
Uh, and in order to present this mechanism to you, which is a paracyclic mechanism, I'm going to redraw part of my carboxylic acid here. When you heat this up, one carbonyl group grabs the proton from the other carboxylic acid. The oxygen and hydrogen electron shifting to form a new oxygen hydrogen bond, and the carbon carbon bond from the other carbonyl to the alpha carbon shifts in to make a new beta carbon uh, and so or shifts into the towards the alpha carbon to make an enol let me get this drawn here and the other product of the reaction is carbon dioxide this is kind of a retro en if you had to classify this reaction it's like an en reaction but backwards uh, an en reaction is sort of a rare uh, paracyclic reaction. And then I'm not going to draw the mechanism for the tautomer, the tautomerism uh, from enol to keto form, uh, but it's what happens here. You get your new uh, carboxylic acid. So that means that if we were given the, the structure of some kind of carboxylic acid, maybe that looked like this, we could ultimately think about synthesizing it from diethylmalonate. I'm going to go copy the structure of diethylmalonate. An appropriate base and... an alkyl halide that looks like, well, maybe we'll pick a spe specific halogen. So, um, with the key bond that is being formed being this one here, and you know, and one of the S carboxylic acid groups from the ester is lost through decarboxylation. This ends my video on the malonic ester synthesis. In the next video, I'll talk about the acetoacetic acid synthesis, which is a similar reaction, but a different starting material and a different product. Thank you for watching.